Hi, I'm Family Law Attorney Kyle Scoresby. In a previous video, we talked about preparing to divide up assets and debts. And, and the process we talked about in that video was identifying all the marital assets, categorizing them as either community property or separate property, and valuing them. Once those three steps are done, identifying the assets, categorizing them as marital property, and valuing them, then you're ready to go on to the actual division of assets itself. And remember, it's only the community property that gets divided. That's why we have to categorize things as separate or community. The community property is supposed to be divided equitably, which does not necessarily mean that each individual asset has to be divided up 50-50. All it means is that the overall division of assets has to be fair and equitable. In this example today, we're going to be talking about a couple that has a house with $50,000 of equity in it, a boat worth $20,000, a truck that the husband drives worth $15,000, a car that the wife drives worth $20,000, credit cards totaling $15,000, and a 401k through husband's employment valued at $100,000. Now to divide these assets fairly or equitably, there are any number of ways you could do it. What we're illustrating here is a situation where the wife is going to be awarded the home, the husband's going to be awarded the truck he drives, the wife's going to receive the car she drives. So looking at the whiteboard here, you can see that we've got the wife receiving $50,000 in equity in the home. We've got the husband receiving the truck that he drives and the wife receiving the car that she drives. And then we've got the credit cards divided so the wife takes $10,000 of the credit card debt and husband takes $5,000 of the credit card debt. Now, if you look at the whiteboard here, when you get to that point, you can see that We've got a subtotal where the husband has $30,000 net and the wife has $60,000. So to make the division of assets equal, we use the 401k to do that. And we give the wife $35,000 from the 401k and husband $65,000 from the 401k. And in that way, each party ends up with $95,000 net. That's an example of how assets and debts get divided in a divorce.